There he goes. What's up guys? Today we're gonna do some gar fishing. So me and my buddy Kenny here are going down to the river behind my house and we're gonna catch some gar. We're gonna be fishing the kayaks though, so it's gonna be really fun fighting these gar from the kayaks. Let's go. All right guys, we are at the river now. Got the kayaks here, got the old Danger Ranger. There's the river. He's trying to figure out how to get the kayak out of the truck. Look at this, point the camera. Like any normal person should, I mean, I probably could figure it out, but so can you. It's a maze. It's a puzzle. Oh, wait. I got it. No, nope, that's not how you do it either. Okay. All right. I'm going to figure it out. So, it's just one. Loop. <laughs> how the hell? Dude, this is like some magic. Some fucking wizard. Shit. <laughs> Look at this. Watch. Oh, but. Watch, 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 watch this, guys. You did Oh my god! Oh my god! I asked you if you if you're supposed to undo a knot <laughs> and you said no. So you tricked me. <laughs> no, that count? wasn't a knot. Sort of. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, we need to send him back to elementary school to learn how to tie knots. I bet he can't tie a fishing knot. Not. You tie Probably a fishing knot? Not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. Oh wait, well that was that was a pun. Got my Tsunami Shield TSSHD 3000 here with a Carbon Shield 2 rod. This thing is awesome. Wait, what rod am I using? You're going to use your spinning rod? Oh. You said to bring it for brim. Oh, we forgot. We forgot his gar rod. Oh, we got <laughs> We got to go back to the house. I got to go back and get the pole. I got to get his pole. I forgot All his right. pole. So we got his pole, but we're not going to drive back. We're going to hop back, so let's go. All right, we're here, so... Let's get the kayaks and let's go, boys. First order of business, I gotta catch some bait. So this is a little brim hook. I've got eight pound monofilament on my Tsunami. And this is a cut up Cinco tail. I'm just gonna put it on the hook here. Bring the hook out the bottom. That way this thing is gonna sink and it's gonna wobble while it sinks like that all right let's go catch some bait so to catch these brim i'm going to throw my little soft plastic my little piece of worm up here at the bank and just let it sink while it's sinking i'll see the line taking off and that's how i know i got a bite i'm going to spray some of this shad spray on here i thought i grabbed the crawdad spray but apparently it's shad spray so these little brim hang out right here on the bank just kind of drag it off the bank like that and let it sink and they'll nail it Oh, got him. All right. We got one, boys. This is where I'm keeping live bait in, guys. I'm just going to put them all in there. We're going to make this drift on the river, and then by the time we get to the gar hole, we'll have enough bait to fish with. You ain't caught none yet? You got to fish the... You got to fish... You got to fish the bank over here, dude. No, this bank. Kenny's going to fall out the kayak over there, guys. Oh, there's one. We got two now. Guys, I have caught more brim in this river with this little bay right here than I have with crickets. Something about it falling the way it falls, they just cannot stand it. Caught more brim with this than a beetle spin with crickets. And see, it's easy. You just throw it out and let it sink, and then you'll see your line take off. And boom, they grab it. Whenever it falls, it falls like that, really slow. Something about it falling like that, they just cannot stand. There's a bunch of roots and stuff up there, and those, those brim hide out. And those roots and stuff. Oh, oh, he took it. Got him. That's perfect size, guys. Kenny got one. All right, guys, we got four or five brim now. We're going to paddle on down to the gar hole and start some gar fishing. And, guys, this is why I bring my kayak down here. Because you can't get down here in any other kind of boat. You can a John boat, but you got to get out and drag it. It's just a lot easier to drag your kayak over this stuff. Put your bait bucket in the back, dork. Jeez, you're a hard-headed aren't you? Going through the nature trail, guys. Yeah, dude, just get out and pull it. Wading through all this snaky water. No telling what kind of stuff is in here, guys. Alligators, snakes, lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. One thing that is in here, though, is fish. And a bunch of them. A bunch of gar in here. All right, I think we're cleared. I'm going to go ahead and get back in the kayak. 
this is the gar hole here so you see where it opens up and it gets deep so when the river gets low like this the gar will hang out in the deeper bends of the river because that is the part of the river that holds the most oxygen and whenever the oxygen levels get low in the river you'll you'll see the gar coming up to the top of the water and rolling and you'll see little bubble trails after they roll well, they're not most of the time they roll like that in the middle of the day when it's really really hot we got this nice little sandbar right here guys so this is the pc fun phantom reel and i've got a pc fun torrent 76 medium heavy rod on here i've got 30 pound braid and this is a 17 pound four carbon leader and this is just a small little wacky rig hook now these gar have long nose gar have very long beak full of teeth about this long they're easier to get a smaller hook in them than a big hook also with a smaller hook that bait fish is going to be more lively and it's not going to kill the bait fish as fast as if you put like a big four out hook in there but with a with a bigger hook you pretty much always have to wait for them to completely swallow to set the hook with a small hook a lot of times i can get that hook in their beak all right so i got a nice size brim right here now when the gar comes up and grabs me he's going to grab that brim like that so i'm going to hook this brim in the back just like so so that little brim is swimming good so we're going to paddle right out here in the middle of the hole this is the deepest spot this is where they like to hang out at and we're just gonna let our brim swim around freely guys my, my brim is swimming down to the bottom and i don't want to swim down to the bottom because there's a lot of sticks and stuff and i'm not using a cork so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take him and hook him in the back right here further back towards the tail and that's going to make that brim swim up and stay on top of the water so guys i wanted to point out that i got my bimini bay pants on now you see me wearing bimini bay a lot that's because it's affordable and it's quality we're about to get one it's time to catch a fish it's not really that hot right now guys so the gar aren't rolling up on top of the water but they're here so guys right now i got my brim out and i'm just free line and let him swim do his thing he might get me hung up but if that happens i'll deal with it when it happens Dang, that was a big one. There went a big one, guys. I'm going to throw my brim over there at it. Oh, right on top of him. Dang, there went one right next to my kayak. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. It's madness. It's mayhem. Oh, he got it. All right. So he just bit my, my brim, guys. And the trick to catching these things is patience. Because like I said, whenever they grab it, first you'll you'll see your line pop you'll see a tick on your line and then they'll start running really fast which is what they're doing now so what what, it, what they do they grab that brim in their beak and then they make a long run and then after they run away from all the other gar they start they'll they'll slow down and they'll start chewing on it so once he slows down and he stops like he just did now is when he's actually trying to eat it so normally i wait until after that time to set the hook all right i can feel him chewing on it guys so i'm, I'm gonna give him a wall Oh yeah, he's chewing on it good. So I'm, I'm keeping my line kind of tight because I want to be able to, there's a lot of sticks and stuff in here. And I want to be able to see where my where that fish is at. And whenever he starts getting too close to the sticks, I'll, I'll set the hook. He's in the middle of the river right now and he's going for the sticks. So the sticks are over there and he's out here. He's just cruising with it right now, guys. I think he might've ate it already because he's definitely slowed down. All right, we're gonna go for a hook set. I oh, got him. Got him. Oh, there he goes. Oh, oh. There he goes. I got him. Oh, probably get my camera all wet. Yeah, that's a good size one. All right, we're going to drag him over here to the bank, guys, where I can get him off the hook. He's pulling me around. I ate one of these things last year. I mean, yeah, it had white meat. It was just a pain in the butt to clean. Oh, 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 there he goes. Drag him up here, let him calm down. See where that hook's at, guys? Right in the bottom of the mouth right there. He does not want to open up. Let's see if I can get that hook just come out. There we go, got my hook back. All right, guys, check. Oh! He's gone.
Turn your bell and let him run. Guys, Kenny is fishing with a giant broom. It's like uh, the table fair size. Oh, something just something just grabbed mine. You can feed a family of four with Kenny's broom. <laughs> I got one on too. Kenny's got one out there, guys. Oh my god. Oh, he broke me off, dude. Oh man. You didn't have your drag set, bro. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and call it a day. We got a long ride back up river before it gets dark. The bugs are coming out. Uh, but if you if you want to see more kayak fishing, if you want to see more river fishing, if you want to see more gar fishing, drop a comment down below. Please hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you again next time.